everyone. Today I will try to explain how we can write operators inside of Kubernetes with Python COPS framework. Oh, firstly, I want to explain the use case which I have used right now. It's not real use case, but it's similar to use case which we use right now in our company. But I have tried to go in deep and to write more more details in environment which I am using right now to be more understandable and I will try to explain all of this stuff of course but just imagine I will not go in deep to code site right now I'm going to explain the topology firstly we have Kubernetes cluster it doesn't matter how much worker or masters which we have another PostgreSQL it doesn't matter works in Kubernetes with operator or its single instance we have just database we have just table inside of this database. We have some credentials and IP address to communicate our service name to this database. And inside of this table, we have company table, some structure. Even from here, we can get structure. But uh, I want to stay a little bit here because, as we see, I've created sequence. Because uh, when I created companies inside of ID field, I cannot use text by default. And with that, it will be require integer each time when we will apply our customer source definition. And to do that, I needed text in then ID to be integer. And do that, I changed this to be sequenceable. And inside of sequence, I define type will be text. And other one name is watcher because it will be string. Registered will be boolean type, true or false. And zip code will be integer. Country will be string. And of course, watcher here I defined. And do that I created sequence and we will see why I did this because inside of ID field I will use my custom resource definition unified by name of namespace slash a name of the customer source definition with kind pgdb writer which I show here right now with my mouse and it is inside of Kubernetes cluster just imagine when you will apply any YAML file with the following content. I mean, spets fields must be like like as a following because DB table requires these columns. And do that if you will apply it, it will go to create insert to the database new values. And if it is exists there like as inside of the same name with the name, for example, first data, or you change any values for this spec. I mean, not table of course. It will be in the same table each time. I mean, for example, if you will change key name, registered zip code or country, it will go to out update it inside of table. I mean, it will go to update row inside of table automatically. Or in case of deletion, this manifest, of course, it will be deleted too. I will simulate all this stuff. Uh, but uh, firstly, I want to say it is uh, codes which I am used. Of course, all these code files will be present inside of Git, Git repository even in a medium site, I will define it link to get it from there. And after apply of objects, let me show the part. As we see, I will delete it to simulate. And here the operator itself right now works. But if I will go to a little bit in this part to execute, get okay, we can see it from here. To be more clear, let me copy command. As we see, I'm going to get object pgdbv, it's short name, which, which defined inside of customer source definition. I will show it, of course. It's going to get values of YAML, which are applied inside of Kubernetes cluster. And this structure, configurable too, I will show you how we can do this. And it's syntax which I'm going to read logs from my operator. It's the lead of the YAML manifest. It's use case of this. Uh, in this side, I'm going to execute each one second to select data from table which I have created, which we can see the field structure, the same which I defined here, of course. And let me explain a little bit code part. It's really more easily, but before switch to Python side, I want to say to use all these code files inside of Kubernetes cluster, I needed service account 
wide deployment and with cluster role and cluster role binding to work inside of whole cluster. And do that, I created this object. Probably some of the rules will be more than we need. At least we can delete it because I tested for all of them. It works right now. Maybe some of them will be more, but you can test it in your case too to understand if you don't need you don't require, of course, maybe it's not required and you can delete it from there. But at least with this rule, it works definitely too. And yeah, in this YAML file, service account, cluster on cluster rule binding. In this YAML file, it's most important. Custom resource definition structure itself. So as we see, we have group uh, with CRD writer option IO with version V1, at least uh, Actually, it's list. We can define a lot of versions with structure for each of them. But most important part, we can see the case required open API v3 schema and type of this key object. And here we require spec field and properties inside of spec type object. And of course, we definitely require these columns because, as we as I said before, inside of table structure these columns required because my code inside of operator going to get table name and insert update or delete data from, from PostgreSQL database. From names, we can understand its table name, its name field, registered, zip code and country, but additional printer columns is the same place which I showed right now. So we can create structure of the view which we can achieve with the following data. So, I mean, in case of name table, it's going to get spec table. In case of registered, it's going to get spec registered. For all of them, more configurable and you, you can achieve in your site too. The scope is namespace too, because if you will apply any namespace, it's going to get from inside of this namespace, this object type. And it's required keys uh, to to define our custom resource definition, kind actually will be, will be pgdb writer, but short name uh, will be pgdbv. And from here, the command which I have executed, we can see I've executed short name than long name. So it is after applying all this custom resource definition file, we can apply pgdb writer kind inside of our Kubernetes cluster, which will go to insert database to our PostgreSQL cluster. And right now, I will switch to part secret. For what we use it, let me switch to deployment part. It's operator itself, which I prepared image from Docker file, which I will show you right now, and pushed to hub docker com public registry. And it's going to use DB writer credentials with the environment variables inside of Docker container, which will work inside of the pod. And uh, to use variables, I've used this secret. We can understand from keys, PGSQL, host, username, password, and DB, which environment variables will be defined to code files to get credentials to communicate with the PostgreSQL database. And I think I finished most YAM manifest files part, but one of them I want to see. It is CRD itself, which we, we will, when we will go to apply this, it's going to automatically insert to the database new data. Of course, if we will change some values inside of this, it will be delete, uh, updated. In case of delete whole manifest, it will be deleted too. Of course, I will show all of them, but let me switch to code, code part quickly. Uh, it will be easy. Then I will simulate all flow. This is Docker file itself. As we see, it's going to get Python 3.9 and go going to copy requirements, install it. It's going to install actually Library to communicate with PostgreSQL, COP itself, and Kubernetes to communicate with Kubernetes, which we will use API of the Kubernetes, of course. And yeah, main entry point itself, it's entry point file, which will communicate in case of CR, the which controller will, it will inform uh, our operator. And in this case, it will be executed this Python code file, of course, it will get environment variables inside of secret, which I showed before. So we can see we have three 
main functions, which with the help of the COP, of course, it's in, in case of create, in case of update, and in case of delete, it's going to use uh, this type of the API which I showed inside of custom resource definition. Even I can open it right now to in this group. I mean, and if version will be v1 and kind will be pgdb writer, in, in this case, of course, it's going to execute create fn function which will go to parse structure, get from the uh, all needed keys, which uh, after that execute a SQL command, will, will execute PostgreSQL insert row function with specification and primary ID. Of course, primary ID in our case, it's important part, will be namespace slash object name, for example, default slash first data. So it is unified actually because inside of the same namespace cannot be present same type of the kind with the same name. So we cannot apply again another object with the same name. It, it will overwrite, of course, all this data, but will not present. And do that, it's unified actually. And if you again use another name, it's totally another structure, and do that, it will be changed inside of field two. For example, first data, data one will be default slash first minus data one. So for all of them, it's similar. Uh, you can open code files inside of source folder. It's DB client class to, uh, to configure database connection, init Kubernetes group config, and functions which I have used, you will see inside of functions file. Too. So let me simulate all this flow which I'm trying to achieve right now. I don't need this to. Oh, even I can do this. Okay. So I'm going to delete all objects right now. In in the downside, I mean here I'm reading operator log. Even if I will do again, it you will see I'm reading pod inside of deployment inside of namespace db writer, and I applied. This manifests, I mean, custom source definitions. I will delete it right now. If I will do delete, just look at this part. It is second data. Second data, this one. It will be deleted and we will see it will not present there. And it is deleted. At the same time, if I will delete first data, first data to delete it too. But if I will apply first data again, Uh, we can see zip code this one, but if I will go to change, oh, it doesn't matter actually. Okay, as well, we can change it to as well at the same time to this one. We can see both of them changed. So that's it actually. I hope it will be useful.